What's up guys, this is Scooter here at Macintosh Tips. I've got another great application for you. It's called Taskless. It's a beast, guys. It keeps all your assignments in track. It, uh, it computes your grade for you right in, in there in the application. Let's go ahead and jump into it. You're going to be very amazed at the application. And it's free. It's probably the best part. Uh, now, in the application called Taskless, there's a passcode uh, option here, which is very great if you have friends over always using your computer or your parents are using it and you don't want them to dip into your grades. This is very understandable, guys. So you put in your passcode. All right, put mine in, hit unlock. Boom, there it is. Just that simple. All right, and now I'm going to break the application up into the top bar, the left and right bar, and then the grades. But first, let's go ahead and hit the preferences. Go to Taskless, hit preferences. I'm brought up to a bunch of tabs, all right? Under general, it just shows my name and my school. Here's the password option right here. Just hit the pr password protect task list and enter your locker password. Very simple, very easy. Uh, under classes, I can add new classes here if I wanted to. Under that, I say I want to add another class. I want to add English, all right? I can add when, what time it gets in. It gets in at 6.45, stays in until about 1. All right, I can hit the days that it, it stays in session. So it's open Monday. Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now, a pretty cool thing about my school is my school only has our classes uh, every four days, four days a week, instead of the normal five. And this helps with the homework load and things like that. So uh, usually my classes, some of my classes are not on Mondays, but they're on Tuesdays. And then the class that's not on Monday is on session on Tuesday, and it just rotates. Very nice. I'm pretty sure your school has that as well. Uh, I can put the room it's in. It's in room number uh, 4,680,000. All right, the teacher's email, it could be uh, Jeffrey, or Jeff, uh, jeff.man at blah, blah, dot com. Hit add class. So now I've got that all stored in, and I'll show you about the email here in a second. Um, there's a widget for this application, which is very, very cool. Uh, I can only sync unchecked tasks, uh, automatically sync the widget on quit, things of that nature. I'll show you how to do that here in a second. It can... Uh, Let's task it up with iCal. Uh, there's a default grading scale, so if you don't know what a 74 is, you can put that in. Or if your school has its own grading scale that's different from this one, you can definitely edit it by double clicking and then typing in the score and definitely the GPA value. Very cool, very, very easy to use. Then there's class cast, which is just podcast, you know, things like that. And then there's also uh, the type or category of task. If it's an essay, a hard thing, or you know, if it's individual group exercise. Things like that. So that's the preferences. Very simple, very easy. If you have any more questions about that, message me. I can definitely help you out. Uh, so moving on, uh, let's talk about the left side. The left side basically organizes your task into all tasks, current task, or by class. All right, so I've got history and APPE, or Advanced Placement Physical Education. Now I made up some pretty much BS classes and some BS um, you know, assignments here just to make this get this application going. Uh, now you can add classes by hitting the plus button here or subtract classes by hitting them here. So if I want to delete AP Chemistry, just go ahead and take it off just like that. No harm, no foul. And if I want to delete English, take that off as well. So now I've got History and APPE open and I can just browse my you know, my list here. Now if I want to add a task, I can do it a couple ways. I can uh, add it here by hitting at the top or I can come over here. I kind of like on the right side better than at the top, but the, whichever way you want, your preferences guys. So if I want to add a task, I'm going to come over here to class, select which class it is, all right, let's say it's going to be, say it's going to be history, all right, I can add what type of assignment it is, let's say it's an essay, let's say it was due a couple weeks ago, just to get the application going, or let's say it's due in a couple days, all right, let's say it's due on the 24th, I can hit my priority scale, since the 24th is close coming up, it's a pretty much a high priority now, but let's say it's about medium, I've been working on it, all right, so there's my priority scale, check it out right there, right? Then I'm going to go over here to my grade. I haven't gotten the grade yet, so I'm not going to mess with that. And I've got the type, all right? I'm going to say hard, all right? And I've got any comments I want. So um, let's say length, um, six pages, work cited. All right, just a couple comments there, right? Now, if I can go to view more details, this is a great option here and a great feature that this has. And great, and um, and view more details, you can actually add steps it takes. So let's say there's a step of turn in topic. So I double click, turn in topic. Let's see, this was due on the 24th. So let's say I uh, come down here and let's say on the 19th or 18th, had turned in my topic. All right, and if I go here and click it off, I can add a new step of uh, turn in rough draft and RD, all right, set the date by coming down here. Let's say that was on the 20th, add it here, and if I'm done with the steps, I just hit the checkbox, guys. 
very simple, very easy. And to hide the steps, I just go to view more details. All right. So pretty much, I've got all the steps done. I've got uh, what it is basically. I hit Add New Task. Boom! It automatically lists here and with the essay or with all the other topics. All right. History and as an essay. If I click on it, it shows me that it's incomplete and it has all the details still right here on the sidebar. Very, very nice, very cool. All right, so since I've got that going here, I can go to history, view it essay as well. Now, if I go to my dashboard and I click go down, I don't see that essay that it's due on the, 20, on the 24th or not, right? So pretty much what I can do is if I click widget, it'll sync all everything in. So it says it's synced, go back to my dashboard. Now if I scroll down, boom, there's an essay that's due on the 24th, the length, six pages, and there's a work cited needed. So that's a pretty cool feature that it has a widget. And in preferences, you can have it automatically update if you want to. All right, so if you keep forgetting. Uh, if I go to Advanced Placement PE, um, if I go to email, I can automatically email the teacher, all right? So if I had a, the teacher, uh, jeff.man at blah, blah, dot com, I can automatically email him just by hitting email. So I'm going to definitely take advantage of that option in task list in the upcoming school year. Uh, archive and backup, very simple, just what they mean. And then you got notes and goals. Um, pretty much you can set goals for yourself for the next upcoming school year. I've got pass every class, and I've got make it to the front of the lunch line, things like that. All right, you can go ahead and come down here and add a goal. Uh, very simple, very cool. And you can always sync it with iCal. So I like how this application does that. And then notes, you can have notes about the classes. Very simple, very easy pretty self-explanatory and that's what I like about this application guys it's right there in your face pretty self-explanatory uh, one thing I left out upload and detail and download if you have iDisk uh, a dot I or yeah an iDisk uh, you can upload your files and your notes and things up there to your iDisk um, I don't know if you have that or not but if you do you can take advantage of that now let's get into the grading system which is probably one of the best features about this if I go to info alright it shows it brings me up pretty much everything alright so my history my history percentage my grade my GPA value and the advanced with PE now if I go back here like I said history if I click let's say the quiz right you can see all the details on the right side well if I come over here I show you the grade that I've gotten alright so let's say I did get a four out of five right I edit select the task boom I got a four out of five on that now if I come back to info go to info it's a little bit different all right, so now I've got info open and boom. Now, if let's go back to the essay now. On the essay, uh, I haven't put a grade in for it, right? Let's say I'm going to put a grade in for it. I'm going to put 100, and I'm going to put in that it's completed already. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hit info again. Come back, and now you see that the history grade has changed to a 99.13333. All right, so you see how cool that is. It just basically computes everything right there for you, which is great automatically once you've updated something. That's what I like about it. A plus things like that. Now, if I go to the finals tab here, this is one of the amazing features because let's say finals are always stressful and you want to know what grade it takes. Well, instead of emailing the teacher or you know having to do the math yourself, you can do it right here. All right, so my uh, current grade. And history is a 99. But let's say it was a let's say it was an 88. All right. Let's say it was an 88, and the grade I want is a 90. I want to get to that A, right? And let's say my exams are 25 percent of my grade. If I hit calculate, it'll tell me. So to receive a 90 in your class, you need to get at least a 96 on your final exam. All right. And let's say if I want, can we get a 95? All right. I hit calculate. That's impossible. All right? I need to get a 116 on my final exam. And it lets you know that it's not possible unless you receive some final uh, extra credit, I guess. Um, so this is a pretty cool application, guys. I've simplified the video down to the main features. Like I said, on the left side, you can, um, you can organize it through classes. On the right side are all the details. You know, it's completed the priority level, the grade, comments. Remember, view more details, which are the steps. You can upload files as well. And then if I go to info right here, I have, um, I can bring up the grades, my grades and things like that and update the averages. So very, very cool. Very, very helpful application, guys. It's called Taskless. I'll leave the link to download this in the description. I highly recommend you download this application. Scooter Macintosh tips, guys. Hope you've enjoyed and good luck on the next school year. Peace.